With summer just around the corner, it's the perfect time to start thinking about the perfect accessories to complete your outfit. What better way to do that with a trendy raffia bag? In today's video, I'll be showing you 11 of my favorite raffia bags to elevate your looks for the summer. From classy to quirky, I've got some options that will suit everyone. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. So I originally started off with 10, but I found some all these options I really like, so I wanted to share all of them. So the first one I'm gonna start with is the Celine Raffia Hobo Bag. So I finally found this one, it took some digging. It is sold out, of course. Three tall for $17.50. It has the Cheryl's logo on the front. I really like those ones. It, like this one. It has the trendy hobo style and it's Raffia. So it's like you're wearing two different, the, different, the, two different trends and one. Ha! Ah, natural and tan, I love the color of the trio. Uh, logo at the front. I really like it. It is open, so if you have an issue with your uh, with your bank, it's an open. With Rafia, it's hit or miss whether or not your bag is going to be open, but if you're getting a Rafia bag, you kind of have to be flexible because more often times than not, the bag is going to be open. This is how it is, but I really like this one. It, it's classic. If you want more of a quiet song, this might, be a, might not be an option for you, but it's just hard to share with you nonetheless. I just think it's really cute, and I love the leather handle at the top. This one is super adorable. One of my favorites on the list. This one is from Prada. It's the Wicker and Leather mini bag. Retails for $11.70. This one does have a closure over the top. As you see, it has a chain strap too. And this one is white and like a natural raffia with gold hardware. I think that's the perfect combination. And oh, just look at it. Just look at it. It's like one of those clutch openings that has like the folds on the sides and then it folds shut. So this one does close all the way above the interior it is kind of one of the smaller options on this list but i just want to share it just in case you wanted something a little cute to you know follow along with the trend but you didn't want to spend too much either but yes i do realize the 1170 in my opinion that price point should be for the bigger bags but hey it's prada they do what they want as well as other brands on the list they do what they want but it's still cute nonetheless i do wish they had a bigger option though but who knows how much they would they would charge for that one yeah <sighs> We already know it's gonna to to be high. We already know it's gonna be high. So the next option is from Dior. This is the Small Lady Du Jour bag. And natural macro canage raffia. This is probably my favorite on the list. I absolutely love this one. It's just something about that beige or off-white with the natural raffia with the gold hardware, which I really like. Oh gosh, everything about this. It's structured nicely. Top handles are slight concerning me because is that like the but shot in like Louis Vuitton has on their handles. Will this darken over time with the long strap and everything? Hmm, those are big questions for me, but I just love the detail of this one. It has your keychain, it has the chain strap, it has a leather in the middle. This one is just so cute. Oh gosh, it's just so cute. But for 3800 that is high for Rafia. It's high. But in my opinion, Dior is always overpriced, but I just have to share it because it's, it's like the best. I have an another option from Dior for you. This is the medium Dior Carl bag in natural microcondrite. It's roughly still the exact same color, just a different style. This is also cute. It is just in the Carl style. So if you prefer the Carl over the Lady Bajoy, here you go. Wide opening, zippered pocket, flap closure. It has a chain and leather mixture strap, which is nice. So you can wear it cross body however you want. The back says 30 marm tool. Is that a freak? Yeah, it has to be, I guess. But, yeah. I like it. All right, this is another one I quite love. Oh, I've been loving some bottom of bags lately. I don't know what it is. This is the 1945 Soft Mini Monogram Canvas Shoulder Bag. Retails for $13.50. Which is just look. Just look at the chain strap. It has, like, a mix of silver and gold. I love that. I love that. I love that. Sign me up. I love the pattern on the bag. Y'all know I'm all about my logo. I'm not a quiet girl, okay? Nothing has changed. Even though it was trending, nothing has changed. I love the gold, the hardware gets it. It kind of gives me classic flat 19 vibes, sort of. I know I'm supposed to slap you off, but hey. Has a large interior opening as well. This one is adorable. And this one, unlike the others, I feel like you can dress up more. It's a lot easier to dress up more because of, you know, the style of the bag is not just straw, you know? I really like this one. This one is not really a bra feel, but it kind of has those vibes with the colors and everything, so I just thought I would include it on the list. This one is from Loewe. It's the Loewe Paula Ibiza 
balloon ruffled raffia shoulder bag. Not typically a bucket bag or tote girl. This one is cute. I just love the ruffles on it. I love the strap. I love the detail. I love it. It is wide open. Unlike the Prada version I shared with you. I think it was this video. No, it was another video I filmed. Oops. Anyway, it's not like that Prada Rock you took the super thin, super, where you can store a whole lot in it. This is a wide opener. No matter how big your things are, you can just toss them in the middle and then close your balloon up. And then you have your bag. Easy beach bag. The price point in that outrageous compared to some of these other Rafa ba Rafia bags. And I just had to share it. Brown leather. I think that's the perfect combination to go with Rafia. Great color complement. And I don't know. I just love it. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any luxury fashion or designer bag videos. I post, I post every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So to ensure so you don't miss any video, be sure to like and subscribe. This one is from Valentino. This is the... Oh my goodness, stop calling. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. He knows not to call me while I'm filming, but he called me anyway. I am very angry with you right now. This one's from Valentino. It's the one stud small raffia shoulder bag. Retails for $35.50, which I think is absolutely astronomical. But it's cute nonetheless. I love the stud of the supple one stud on the front. I think that's really cute. It has a gold chain as well. Not sure when this is a short up, but we don't need to see that. We just need to see the pictures. So that's what it looks like. I mean, it's simple. It's classy. It's one of the more quiet bags on the list. That's you know, your gen. But but there's that one. You can also double strap and make it a shoulder bag. Don't make the crossbody. But I think that was cute. Large opening, as you see. Slit interior pocket. Super cute. This one is also from Valentino. It differs from the previous, as it does have the studs all over the bag. This is more of a bucket style. However, does close. It's not just a bucket, which I really like. So this one, I do like more than the previous. I feel like it has more flexibility as far as what you can put in it. But I just think it's cute. As you see, this interior in here is like a bag that has a drawstring, so it's not wide open. So it has double handles, as you see, a longer strap for crossbody or shoulder if you want to wear it that way, removable strap too if you don't want a longer strap, and a drawstring closure, obviously. And that looks like it's leather too, which is nice. Yeah, it is. Wow. So this one seems to be constructed really well for $28.50. And it's cheaper than the previous two. So if you're gonna go with one of those options from Valentino, I recommend this one. Seems like it's a better option. The next one's from Barbaris, the May Freya and Raffia logo tote for $17.50. I know this is showing Raffia in black, but it does come in Raffia in brown as well. Yep, it's down there. So it's a tote style, braided top handles. It is uh, completely outlined. God, my eyebrow itches and I, I refuse to scratch it because I'm gonna be one eyebrow short in this video. And I'm not doing them again today, so. Well, hello there. Anyway, it's lined in leather on the outside of the bag. Very structured. This one, you could get away not just wearing in the summer, but you could travel with this one too. And like put your laptop. No, maybe not. It's a little small. It's a mini. I'm tripping. Mini, 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 mini. So maybe a mini iPad. But I do like the fact that it has a crossbody strap. Let me show you the other color. Oh, it is blue too? I don't think I like that one. That one looked kind of crazy. But let me show you, there's another option. This one from Nina Marcus. I think that one's cute. The brown, the off-white, and the raffia. Great color combination, so. The next one's from Jimmy Choops. The Bon Bon Medium Bucket Bag for $20.95. It's actually $21.95. So, this one's adorable. It's quiet as well. It is similar to the Valentino one I shared with you. That has a drawstring. However, it doesn't have like an interior bag. You know, strictly a raw fit and has a drawstring, it has a top handle. This one is really cute. It does also, it does also have a longer strap. Shoulder strap or crossbody if you wear it that way. This one has quite a large capacity. You can store a lot in the middle and it has a zippered interior pocket, which is always nice. So I really like this one. It has beads on it too. So a little bit of detailing and it's still a great price point. And your logo. It's this small little square right there, but on the other side, there's none. So if you still, if you don't want to show the logo, there you go. Next for Solo Up, we have the Cassandra Mini Raffia shoulder bag. So exactly like the Cassandra, except, I don't know why I can't talk. It's exactly like the Cassandra, except it's a local strap, it's a top handle, and it's basically it. Raffia in the middle, which I really like. Also has brown, I told y'all, brown, gold, and raffia. I like the perfect combo. Not just brown, but off-white and beige too. I think that combo is really nice too. So 
I'm gonna wear so the black one does not the same color scheme. I need to see a model wearing this one. But anyway, no back pocket. It has an interior divider if it's like oh Cassandra. They're not showing, but it's there because look. Look at that right there, that little line right there. That's a divider. But you're not telling people that. That's so damn shady. Why are you lying to people? It's still cute nonetheless. Just need to share it with people. And the next one is from a brand I don't talk about on here. No reason why. I just have never liked anything from them except I found this one. Now, this is similar to Raffia. It's more of a crocheted vibe though. So, crocheted, 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 crocheted. It has to be crocheted. Oh, it has Raffia in there. So, it counts. Okay. This one is from Proenza Shoulder. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. But this is the Braid Crochet Shoulder Bag. I love this one. I love everything about it. It is crocheted for the actual bag. The strap is braided. It's mixed with Raffia too. It's like crocheted with Raffia. And it has a leather chain strap and has a fold over flex so it kind of reminds me of another bag i shared in the video so if you didn't watch the video you don't know what i'm talking about anyway moving it right along over front no back pockets or anything large interior opening this one is quite quiet too you don't know what it is i like this one and it's unique so it's on the list this one is from Jacques Moche. This one is the Le Petit Filet Pralou Fishnet Bucket Bag. This also isn't really raffia, but it has some other vibe being, you know, with the type of nature it is, I guess. But it has a bag in the middle. This isn't necessarily one of my favorites on the list, but I feel like Jacques Moche always tries to support take in trends and they usually do quite a great job at it. So I know a lot of you probably like this bag. I just don't really, it's not really my style, but that's why I wanted to share it. This is what it looks like. That looks like some sort of linen bag material and has magnetic closure if you see the little magnets here those two pockets do close so and it comes out too if you just want to wear the fishnet but you gotta be really careful with this bag that fishnet is big so anything could slip out of your bag also i love this bottom i love the bottom the fact that it's structured so it's gonna sit but it's gonna topple over too because of how it's made and it has this cute little jacamoose logo on the chain I really like that. Or on the leather. I do think this is a cute option. It's just a bit pricey for what it is. $15.65. But, yep. Yeah. Also from Jacquemus, we have a more practical option. This is the Le Panier So Straw Bucket Bag. I'm so sorry I keep scratching my hair. It's been too much. This is, this is gross. It's been almost too much since I've washed my hair. I'm trying to get my money's worth, okay? For you, so much money. Don't judge me. But this one's really cute brown gold graffia all together which i love and this one does close you could put actual things in here and they won't fall out and it's a longer strap that's what your bag which your bag was like this looks like more of a dust bag material which kind of cheapens it but for 735 they're gonna do that okay you're not getting certain things i don't know that's kind of nice so once you take the bag out this is what it looks like in the interior but with that you can't close it so you know you kind of have to pick and choose what you want also, the entire bag obviously comes out to drawstring. That was cute. It's adorable. This one is from another brand I also haven't talked about. This one is from Patu. Ooh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm ever doing it, I'll pronounce anything wrong, please let me know. The Wicker Basket Bag. This one is so adorable. I mean, just look at it. It, was, it reminds me of going to a picnic or something. It's like the perfect bag for a picnic. I don't know. I just think it's cute. I love the gold hardware on it as well. I love the top of it. It is kind of obnoxious for what I'm used to carrying. You know, it's being so big, you know, wide, like circular, I guess. And, you know, for what it is. But I just think it's too cute not to put on the list. Top handle, obviously. I think you should be able to put this on your arm. It's going to be real tight and probably really uncomfortable with the shape of it. But I just thought it was too adorable not to share. So which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video so you don't miss any videos that I post in the future. But in case you missed the last one I posted, here it is. Talk soon.